Throughout history, innovators have always explored new ideas that break the boundaries of conventional fields. In the Matsudo International Science Art Festival, we bring in innovators, innovative research centers, artists in science from around the world to present their latest works in the special exhibitions, workshops, and talks throughout the city of Matsudo. Aos Electronica is a cultural creative institution based in the city of Linz in Austria. So this exhibition, we show three interesting projects. Uh, what if we could listen to the kind of breathing of the small insect as a beat? Or the time is flowing, so, but we never touch the time. And also individually, the time is different. How to capture the different senses of time we are very happy to show a work that we developed in 2016 at the Ars Electronica Center. And it's a real-time sonification and visualization of all man-made objects orbiting Earth. And what we are interested in is the patterns that are created by this. We want to rather open questions than find answers. It's up to the audience what to make out of it. 株式会社エールの岡島レナと申します今会社では人工的に流れ星を作ろうということをやっておりまして人工衛星を開発しておりますなのでエンターテインメントとしてこうみんなで楽しんでもらうというのはもちろんなんですけれども同時にこうサイエンスが発展するっていうところがあのポイントです Matsudo International Science and Art Festival aims to connect science, art and nature the Tojo Tei Shoun Tei in the Tojo Gaoka Historic Park is located on top of a hill that overlooks the entire city. This building was full of really innovative technologies. But now, of course, it's positioned as a historical building. I think the encounter between tradition and new technology is very unique. Creative Coalitions allows us to find new possibilities for tomorrow. The objective of the festival is not just to introduce the works of innovators, but to bring together all of the citizens, like ourselves, to collaborate, inspire each other, create new projects, so that we can build a truly creative city and society together. The workshop that I visited uh, yesterday, that was an amazing research, and to see those small kids with the parents being like amazed about trying to visualize and track cosmic rays. That was amazing. And if this knowledge comes to the people, it is very certain that the people will do something very different with it and maybe much more meaningful than the scientists who just work with it. Science なんかこうコラボレーションしていくっていうのが本当に重要だと思っていますなのでどんどんそういった未来はもう科学とアートとステエンターテインメントがどんどん融合してくるともうみんなすごい楽しいんじゃないかなと思います